All right, find the cube root of this thing. Yeesh. Um, well, it's okay if we have a negative cube root. So it's just going to be the negative. We can have a negative in a cube root is what I'm saying. So I got 1024 and then x to the power of 30. The x isn't going to be too bad, but let's look at this 1024. Um, 1024 is divisible by 8. So that's 8 times 128, which I think is divisible by 8 as well. That's also divisible by 8. And 16, which is 8 and 2. That's pretty nifty because here I've got a triple set of 8s, which is what I need since the index is 3. So right now I can factor out an 8 from that. The 2 is going to remain in the cube root. But here I've got an x to the power of 30, which I'm going to use exponents for this one. I'm just going to raise it to the power of 1 third, which is what that cube root is doing. All right, so 30 times 1 third, that's just going to be 10. So it ends up being x to the power of 10. So negative 8 times x to the power of 10. And then we still have the cube root of 2 from this term here. And that is as far as we can simplify it. That x to the power of 10, <coughs> that 10 and the 3 are separate. Hopefully the colors show that.